Hello, absolutely nobody. It's Power Up here. Welcome back. Seven Days to Die Survival Guide on the PlayStation 4. It's day 13. I have spent the night in my, what I'm calling my hoard house. I've done a little bit of fortification. Um, a lot upstairs, not so much downstairs, but I'll, I'll show you around anyway. So I think in the last episode, um, I already took away those bottom stairs. But I, um, I walled up this area here. I've only reinforced it a single time with, um, with wood. <sighs> As you can see, um, I've closed off the doorway, and I've, uh, I think I did that, as I say, the stairs the last episode. Um, but the major work is done upstairs, so if you come upstairs, you can see I've put a few torches around just to create some light, and I've created that building there, which I'll show you around in a minute. And what I've done is, uh, like I said last time, I have single extended the wall out one. Um, I haven't really upgraded that area there with wood wood blocks. Now, in all previous games, that has been sufficient to stop the zombies from crawling up the walls, the spider ones. But I'm a level lower than I have been in the past, so we never know. And also, I built this safe room here. Um, this is going to be my horde house, so this is where I'm going to come every horde night, hopefully, until I've built a proper location. So. I will I will upgrade that fully to to um to fully full iron at some point. And this is only making noise, so I'm only going to take him out. I also filled that. I'm not sure if I did that last time as well. So again, we're looking okay. We don't really want to be doing too much in here. Um, I didn't really do anything with inventory yesterday. I'll take those feathers because I'm running low on arrows. Anything else? No, it's okay. Um, I haven't got any food here. I think I might be running a bit low on food and water, but today I'm going to head back to my main building where I've been uh, smithing or forging, or whatever you want to call it. There should be some forged iron in there, so there is some food. Um, so I might go down to the water to fill up the jars that I've got and back up to the house. Um, I will be doing some hunting on the way there as well. But for the time being, let's go out. Just close the door behind me so no one gets in. I'll go and take out. Now, you see, I'm worried about the height of that. Because, as I say, in the, all the last episodes I've done, or all the gameplays I've done, the buildings that I fortified from the Forge Knight, Ford, <laughs> Horde Knight, Headshot, um, have been one story higher. So there's a chance that's not my. my um, my strategy that has worked in the past might not work this time, but I suppose we'll find out. Um, if it doesn't work, we've got that um, safe room we can go and hide in. Um, we'll see. Anyway, so where we're we going? Um, back to the back to the safe house. Back to our main house. Sorry, um, I might raid some of these garages before I go because we are basically looking for as I've said every single episode a mini bike book um, ideally so we can get around this map that seems to be quite big um, and I know that there's sometimes bookcases in either the, uh, the upper the attics of the burnt buildings or just sitting in the garages so we might check out that at some point I'll also um, nip in here and get some more stone, I don't need the sand but I'll keep the sand, I definitely need stone because um, I'm going to be making arrows at some point as well so I'll just do some digging here, I'll pick that up so it doesn't blow up on me just do some digging we all like digging. I'm going to dig quite a lot here. We need quite a lot of stone, so I'll just I'll, I'll do a couple of layers of this whole area here. It's, it's really easy to get stone here. This is the kind of stuff that you'll find in the derelict areas as well. So you know, you know, if, you, if you're in a derelict area, it's fantastic for resources because you can dig the floor, you get sand and stuff. You'll get sand and stone. You can hit the metal, um, the metal bars on the floor, and you'll get scrap iron. You can hit the breeze blocks, which will give you, um, which will also give you um, stone as well. 
So there's, there's, you know, there's plenty of resources around here to just kind of look. Oh, look there's a tyre buried. Also, if you hit tyres, um, there's a chance that it will um, it will give you a set of tyres for your minibike. But as I say, I'll keep digging. Uh, picking up some stone. Because we do, we're, we're going to need lots of resources for the next couple of um, couple of episodes. Especially if, you know, I spend some of my um, skill points. How many have I got? 462 just in a little time. That's nothing. I'll, I'll get up to a thousand and then we can move on. I'll craft some, I, uh, some arrows just for the time being. Because as I say, I've only got 14 so I can do it a bit more. Something else we'll have to look for on the way back to the house is um, some nests to raid. So we'll keep digging until we've got about a thousand. It shouldn't take too long. I know digging and mining and such isn't the most interesting, but it's um, I really enjoy this part of the game, collecting resources. Now you can't, you obviously can play this game in creative mode, where there's um an extra icon in the menu system which is you know at the top when, when you when you press the um the the inventory button you'll see all the icons at the top if i was in creative mode you'd see uh, an extra icon up there which is generally on the far right hand side uh, if you were to go into that icon it would open up a menu system so you can see there how you've got the little person at the top there next to that would be uh, an extra icon where you can go in and there's some deer horns if that's glitching, no, it's just running away. See, if that was glitching on the fence, I would have. Um, it's going mental. Anyway, yeah, so that extra icon would have given you um, access to pretty much everything in the game. So rather than spending time digging these resources, you could spawn in stone. But, um, for me, it kind of spoils the fun of the game because, you know, you. I enjoy this part, going around, spending time digging, gathering resources, and busting myself to, um, you know, to unlock all the features that you need to, to to have a good base, rather than on day one spawning in all the weapons you want, all the armor you want, and all the materials you want, and just starting building a base straight away. The, there is, that is fun. Don't get me wrong. That's that's a fun part of the game as well. Um, but it, it kind of takes away most of the challenge for me, which is one of the reasons I um, enjoy this game so much. So I might show you, I might start a quick new game at some point and just show everybody the creative mode. Not spend, maybe just spend a day in the, you know, or one episode, 20 minutes going through the, um, going through the menu system, showing everybody how to do things and, and how it works because, um, on the PC version, you know, you can enter God mode, but on this one, you have to specifically load it up at the start menu. Um, and I don't think you can activate it. Th um, am I going to get this guy? I don't think you can activate it once you've started the game. No, I'm not some rubbish. I'm hunted. So now we've got that. I'm what, 8% on thirst. I don't think I've got any water on me. So I really I might just shoot this thing. I'm a bit rubbish though. I'm so tired today. I always play this late at night, and it's um, I've had a pretty long day at work, so I'm pretty tired. Um, oh, is he glitched? If he's glitched, I'm just gonna hammer him. Doesn't look like he has though. This might be a lucky day, stag. I mean, I have got. A challenge in the top right hand corner to kill five stags. Now, I won't just go around and kill five stags. I will collect the meat um, for food and the hides for leather or whatever I'm going to use them for. Um, this guy's this guy's mental. He's bouncing away everywhere. I've shot him, so he should be bleeding. We can hear if he is, because he'll make that kind of groaning noise if he um, if he's still bleeding. Never gonna get him from here with this. Nope, didn't think so. Oh, and I just walked into a cactus. Okay. 
There he is. Right, sure. I should be able to. No. It's almost like I I don't, I don't know for sure, but I I honestly think that the um the the animals in the game have slight amounts of intelligence where they know they're being aimed at and they they move if you aim for too long. But that might just be me because I'm rubbish at um aiming in this game. Right, so where's he gone? There he is. Where? Are oh, you kidding? Where is he? I just heard him die and I cannot see him. You guys are probably shouting on the screen where he is. Oh. He's dead because I've got a star kill on the top right and that was zero. This is... Uh, <laughs> this is typical. Because I could do with the meat back at home as well. Um, let's have a quick look around. And I've just walked over a cactus. Well done. He can't have come this far, can he? And knowing me, I'll probably I'll be looking so intently for this dead deer that I'll walk into a bear. Ah, oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna have lost this, aren't I? I'm way off target now. There's, there's no way he came this far. He went over the top of the hill and then he disappeared. I thought I saw him. But it, I, th I think it was just a rock. Was it this rock that I saw? Was it this rock here that I saw? I can't. I can't believe I can't see him. And I know you guys are shouting on the screen at me. Because he's right in front of me or something stupid like that. Uh, my character's 10% hungry and 4% thirsty. Right, okay. I've got those 13 jars. I'm halfway towards the water anyway. Right, okay. One, one quick look. I'm sure he was over that direction. Right, anyway, forget it. Down to the water. That's really, <laughs> that's quite that has annoyed me. So here's that um, that house we saw on the uh, was it the second or third day? Can't remember. Um, there's another nest. I'll take. As I say, I need feathers. And eggs are always good for um, bacon and eggs. No, he's. Not, I'm not finding him. Go away, zombie. I'm busy. <laughs> Another, uh, another dead zombie, carrying nothing. Right, so I'll, I'll, limit, I'll taskbar these um, bear this again. Um, I'll taskbar these jars. I'll go and fill them up. Because what I really want to be doing today is you know, gathering wood, gathering fibre, and gathering rocks. Because back at home, I've got forged iron, and in that forged iron. Um, I'll be able to make, because I've unlocked all the tools, I'll be able to make a, a pick, an axe, a wrench, and a hammer. Which, and I've got a decent shovel, but I might be able to make a shovel as well. Um, and again, they're pretty much all the tools you're going to need for the rest of the game. So if I just, um, and also, because I've got forged iron, I might be able to make myself a crossbow. Uh, and I think a crossbow needs wood, leather, and um, forged iron. It's not heavy on the forged iron, I don't think. So I'll, I'll, I'll collect some um, fibre and some wood, and I'll maybe make a bunch of bows as well, just to see if I can get... I mean, I'm at 360 in my bow. So uh, if... Is that him there? Did he, did he not die? Oh, he's away. Of course he is. Eight bullets left. Couple of nests. I'll take them for the feathers. Yeah, so I'm, I might see if I can get my um, go away zombie. I'm speaking. Uh, I might see if I can get a few bows made to raise that up to closer to 400. Um, and I'll do the same with my uh, axes as well. There's a bear there. 
I'm, I, I'm not going to be able to take that bear down. I'll, I'll scoot around the edge of him. Um, yeah, so if I can create enough resources just to um, make a whole load of these rubbishy tools that I've got. Um, and then I can use the forged iron and a few more resources to um, to make the forged iron tools. There's the half piece of wrench as well. Um, so that's going to be my plan. I'll take this zombie out. I, I am though now 100% or 0% thirsty with everyone to, to explain it. He's up again. Now, and I've only got 6% food, so I really do need to either do some hunting and get some meat uh, and get home because I've got plenty. I've got you know I've got those 13 bottles of murky water in my in my, um, in, in my task bar. I'll just take some wood while I'm speaking. Um, so I've got those 13 water, but I've also got probably about 40. Oh, where's that? That's not so far away actually. I could probably get there today, there and back, easily today. Right, let's take this dude out. Okay, <laughs> as always, things change, new plan. So my plan now is I'm going to make it back to my house, um, dump my inventory to a certain level, um, there's a nest, fill up on food and water so I'm not starving. And then head across to that um, airdrop. This is a duffel bag. I keep finding things on the way. Let's take everything for the time being. Um, so I'll take a, I'll take all this. You know, I am, you know, I'm pretty much dying of thirst, and I'm going to die of hunger in a minute. So I'll, I'll hurry up a little bit more. Now get back, eat some food, drink some water, shoot your crotch, and shoot off to that um, that airdrop. Hopefully. I'm not that lucky. I've nearly walked past my, my base there. I'm not that lucky, but um, there's some feathers. There's some, sorry, a nest. Five, five feathers. Uh, there's another one. Five, seven feathers. So as you can see, it doesn't take long to get ammo for your um, for your bows. I, well, I might, I might, I won't be making any more arrows though, because I'm going to make some crossbow bolts. So I'll, I won't be um, using those feathers to make arrows. So into this base here. So as you can see, it's pretty safe. It's not been attacked or anything since we've left. I'll um a thousand wood, a thousand stone, I mean that's that's ideal. There's some food and water in here, so I'll I'll, I'll eat the grilled meat. It's gonna reduce my hydration by minus two every time. Not ideal, but um you know I've got I've got two water there, I've got I'll make these thirteen waters here. So that that's that fuel's not going to last long enough, I don't think, to boil all that water. But it doesn't matter. We can come back to it. So we'll, we'll eat some food, drink some water, dump the inventory, and then head off to that um, to that airdrop. It should only take me what an hour or two in game time to get there, um, and then an hour or two to get back. So. I'll probably just film up to getting there and reading it and then I'll cut the episode and bring you back tomorrow morning once I've, once I've made it back here and done a little bit more work. Um, so as you can see I've got, I made I made the, I made an anvil, which you can see there in the, in the output and I've got 26 forged iron but for the time being we'll make the brass, make the lead, turn on that. Put the anvil up the top, so we've got a fully uh, tooled out forge now, which is ideal. And let's just quickly dump all of this stuff in here. Um, might keep the feathers. Everything else can go. Wrench. I've got a wrench already. Ditch the other one. I've got four, that means I've got four eggs, which means I can make two bacon and eggs if I ever find, <laughs> if I can find a deer that I've um, killed in the long grass. I will put my bedroll down actually while I'm here, which should hope, hopefully help the, um, the, the town, 
that we just came from respawn. So I'll, you know, I'll I'll make it sensible. I'll keep it next to the bed up here, which is you know. So this is now. If I die, this is where I'm going to respawn, which is ideal. And you can see that the there's a double icon on this now. And if we scroll back down to where we were, it's just a single icon of the house. So if I die, this is where I'm going to respawn, which is ideal because it's where all my decent equipment is. Um, do I need to take anything? I'll take some... Yeah, I'll take some... Um, stone. I'll take some wood. I might take those feathers. I'll take those feathers as well. I'll take 250 of those wood, maybe. No, I'll just take it all. I need some leather. I don't think I've got any leather by the looks of things. Um, I'm just thinking about making a... Uh, I'll take the forged iron as well. I'm thinking about making a crossbow, actually. So we'll make crossbow bolts, because we're going to make that anyway. So we can make... 221 crossbow bolts, which, you know, again, the more arrows and bolts we create, the higher level eventually when we create a crossbow. Alright, so we need two leathers. We haven't got any in our inventory at the moment. Um, okay, that's fine. We can. I definitely don't have any leather, do I? Keep this. Okay, right. Three o'clock, nearly three o'clock in the afternoon. So it's probably going to be an hour in game there and an hour in game back. But uh, what I'll do as well is you can get leather from raiding cars. If you wrench cars, you will get material from them. So you search them first and then wrench them. And depending on what stage and how decent the cars are, you'll either get leather or cloth. You'll, you'll always get fuel and you'll get iron and pipes and springs and headlights and all this stuff is going to be good to keep until we get a um, um, a mini bike because we'll use those bits to, um, to make say the handlebars or the frame or you know, all the, there's a, I think there's maybe like four or five components to a mini bike so you've got the frame You've got the handlebars, which uh, you need to make in two separate parts as well. You've got the seats, you've got the engine, you've got the, um, the tyres, and you've got the battery. Uh, you've also got to have a, a basket as well, because they are a great, a great jumping ground for uh, full battery. So if you go out on a long trip, you can ditch all the stuff in a mini bike and then empty out your inventory and then raid another town. And, you know, you can pretty much double or triple what you can quite easily. I'll do a couple of these cards. It doesn't look like I think you need a full car to get the um, the leather or the cloth from the seats. Um, I didn't seem to get anything there. And if it if needs be, I've got enough hide at home. I can just go into the skills um, tree and unlock um, leather working. I think it's called. It might be like t five or ten points, um, and then that way I can just make leather. Um, but as of right now, I can't. So that's 13 we're going to need. We've got 26, so we've got... What do we need for an axe? Stone axe. Right, so we need fibre for a stone axe. So I'm going to collect stone. I think I've got a thousand stone at home. So I'll collect some fibre on the way over to this, um, this drop. And feathers, of course. Uh, so that I can spend the night making rubbish tools just so when I do make my forged items I'm not wasting my forged iron because again you know scraps can be easy for us to find because we've got that derelict city just um, you know, just in the same direction we're going but it's time consuming to collect so we'll just um, grab a little bit of um, this fibre on the way this will help as well because um, I think bows Let's see where I am go and detect this <laughs> Back of the head shot, he went down in one. Duct tape, I'll take that. I think you need duct tape to make handlebars actually, so um, again, we'll just keep going. 
We can't be too far away from this airdrop now. Um, it's, it did say it was just you know by the side of the road on the other side of this lake. And there's a deer. I'm probably going to spend another half an hour running around trying to kill that deer. Right, let's just shoot him. We've only got eight bullets. And it's really tricky. That was a headshot. <laughs> Sorry, I'm terrible at this. Right, there we go. Sneak damage. So he's bleeding as well. So I shot him and he's sneak damage. So he's running away. So he should be bleeding. Let's not lose this one. Because um, we could do with the food back at home. We've got those, remember, we've got those four eggs. And you can hear him making that ah, noise, whatever he makes. So we could, um, you know, we know he's bleeding. Ah, oh, I'm so rubbish. See, that noise there means this guy's bleeding. Right, and he's gone behind the rock, which means I have now lost him. Is it? I, is this a joke? I can hear the zombies now. Oh, there he is over there. He's, he's circling back round. But I can hear a zombie as well. Right, okay. There's a zombie over by that. There's a bear. There's always a bear when I'm doing stuff. There's always a bear. Ready to kill me. Right, I'll take this zombie down. I know where that deer is. He's over. You see, we're circling back around, so I should be able to find him. Load my steel arrows. Or iron arrows, whatever it's on. That zombie's obviously glitched. What have you got? Some mouldy bread. Mouldy bread you can take, because you can create antibiotics from it. Um, again, we've got enough antibiotics to um, cure a small town back in the house, so we're not worried. There's that bear. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep away from him. Um, right, where's that deer gone? I haven't heard him die, and he was over here. There's a couple of zombies over there, there's one behind me. Where's he gone? Is that him? There he is. Down by the water. Right. Uh, uh, sorry for getting sidetracked so much. Uh, so I'm going to take this guy out, because he's he should almost be dead. Um, Typically. Right, I've got him. Sneak damage. Oh, don't go in the water. It's. I can't believe I shot him. Oh dear. So he's in the water. I'll load up my bone ship. I really need to make a knife. I don't think I've got a schematic for a knife, but we'll I'll find out. I can make that with a forged iron if I need to. I can see his I can see his horn there sticking out. Or his antler would be a better thing to call it. Um Am I gonna have to How do I get to this guy? So I can see him. Do I crouch do I hit the do I hit the water? I might have to just crouch down. Oh, there you go, that's perfect. Okay. This is um, some Ray Mears kind of stuff here. Skinning an animal underwater. Right, so we've got... <laughs> finally, we've got some hide, some fat and some meat that we can take back. And we do have some eggs back at home. So, eggs and bacon it is tonight for dinner. Uh, right, to the... There's another deer. I wonder if that was the deer that I got, or whether he's the one that's half dead. Either way, doesn't matter. Um, right, so... Half six at night. So we'll, we'll find this airdrop, we'll we'll raid the airdrop, and then I'll call this episode, because you know, we're getting up to half an hour already anyway. Uh, and I'll run back home, um, do some do some of my stuff and I'll bring you back in the morning but I'll let you guys see what's in this crate first 
But beforehand, I think I will just kill this zombie. Oh, of course I missed. I've only got and there's a I've only got eight, eight arrows left. Perfect. Okay. Right, nothing, nothing else going to creep up on me. Okay, so what have we got? What's this? SMG barrel, spiked club schematic, some painkillers, first aid, antibiotic beaker, and a sniper rifle barrel. So, you know, not very useful for me right now. I have got the schematics to make all that stuff, but um, again, I probably won't bother with it just for the time being. Uh, so I will head back to the house now. I might read some of these cards on the way back. Um, see if I can get some leather from them. And there's a flat. There's a flying zombie. I've had a few of them in this game. Anyway, I'm going to call it. Uh, thanks for watching, and I will see you all the next one. Day uh, day 14 tomorrow, so it's going to be um, fortifying, and then uh, another night episode. So, okay, thanks for watching. Bye now.